Hi, this is Ryan. So uh, I found myself in a unique situation where I ended up with eight different USB to Ethernet, USB-C to Ethernet converters, adapters. Uh, I had ordered one originally that uh, didn't work. And so I started reading reviews, people saying that... Um, Basically, there's kind of no rhyme or reason of which ones will work on your uh, your device and which ones won't, even though they say they will. So, um, for instance, this this Able Wii, I believe that's how you say it. I ordered this first, and it says that it will work. So I have an older phone. I have a Pixel 2. It says that it'll work with my Pixel 2, but it didn't. And so I didn't want to go through this. Uh, buying one and sending it back and buying another and sending it back hoping it worked so I just bought seven more <laughs> so what I'm gonna do I did open them all and try them all I did speed tests with them all and I figured I'd do a little review for you guys just so you can see which you know you can have the information you need if you're buying one of these so again this Able Weed didn't work with my Pixel 2 running Android 10 point something I don't know uh, so I can't speak to its speed as far as quality, it felt pretty basic to me. Um, it actually was aluminum, which was nice. Uh, I like the aluminum. The rubber had sort of, uh, this is a basic rubber. And I, this Able Wii, I did believe, did not have lights that light up whenever there's data flowing. Um, but I don't know, because there was never data flowing. This one uh, is called the Lambdo. Pretty generic. Didn't even have a uh, didn't even have a, a logo on it. Uh, the this was another one that didn't work for my machine, so I can't speak to it. Uh, again, this this was actually plastic. It looks silver, but this was plastic with a rubber rubber uh, cable there. Um, didn't work on my Pixel 2, so I, I can't speak to it. This one I bought by accident. This is a USB 2 classic. USB 2 to Ethernet and obviously that's not going to work on my phone so I didn't even open it going back as is um, I'm assuming if it's USB 2 that it probably does not have gigabit performance but can't speak to it so I bought it by accident okay this is the Amazon basics so this one's pretty cool the Amazon basics whoops well there you go you get a good view of it it has those USB ports which I thought was really cool. Um, I like the idea of being able to plug a USB device into my phone and access it. I'll be frank with you, I didn't test it, so I'm not sure if, uh, for instance, a USB, a jump drive, will actually interface with my phone or not. But in theory, I could see that this would open up a lot of doors for um, being able to uh, use different devices on your phone. Uh, the cable on this was a little longer than most. It, build wise it was just a basic plastic box uh, as you can see uh, from the speed tests it, it was it did perform a little slower uh, this was this was actually the one that I was planning on keeping because um, I like the USB drives but because of these slower performances uh, I, I should talk a little bit by the way one thing that I did was, um, I tested each one three times and I went moving on the next tested it three times I took the fastest of those three then I went through it again and cycled through and did each one three times and kept the fastest of the three so I don't know if that's probably not the true to the scientific method but it was what I did and it, and it, um, it worked so this Amazon basics kept coming consistently kept coming up consistently slower uh, it is the most expensive so I think you're paying for that USB port but it always came in around 50 55 maxing you can see it maxed out at like 55 megabytes per second so megabits so I was gonna keep this one decided not to just because of the, the performance to me wasn't quite there uh, so cable matters this one's pretty cool uh, 
it um well, it felt nice it had this sort of like really nice um rubber cable uh, it felt like um like it's gold plated it has a little lights that light up and tell you when the data is passing through it and and actually it was pretty cool it had this little blue light uh in the logo there that lights up when it's plugged into the phone so when there's power but again this one um just didn't perform too great it maxed out there at 65 megabits and um i should also mention i did these tests as close as i could uh, in time to make sure it wasn't an on and off peak and then um i used the same cable and setup and everything and so so i wasn't really impressed with the speed on this one i did have this black so the next uh, one that I reviewed here was the Uni, and this is my favorite of all of them. It has a nice aluminum casing on both the Ethernet port and the USB jack, and it has a nice uh, braided cables. I like that braid over the rubber. I think it'll last longer, and it's just a nice touch. Um, so I only have speed tests for one of the silver. Uh, I don't know what happened to the file, uh, but it, it, the, the unis are a little more expensive at $20. And, um, but they did, especially the silver, for, as you can see, it actually did come in. Uh, so the black was rated um, down here in the 60s. Um, and the silver was getting up over 100 megabits per second consistently. So I don't, they're on the same page here and I ordered them by accident. Um, but I don't, they, for some reason that silver did seem to perform better. Uh, full disclosure, I think this silver one is going to be the one I keep out of these. Uh, uh, and I'll, I'll talk a little more about that in a second. So there's the black one, you can see. I did want to say one other thing about these unis. Uh, the, they come with what they call the uni accessory advantage, and it's an unconditional lifetime warranty without any hassle. All costs are covered by uni accessories during your lifetime replacement process. Friendly staff, 24 hours. Uh, so that warranty goes towards the value of that $20 as far as I'm concerned. Uh, plus they have this little thing called a beta, they call the beta program. I don't know what that is, that they send you new devices. And you get a little bag too, which is pretty nice. I don't know if I'll ever use that little baggie. Uh, but there it is. Uh, so anyway, I guess, I guess I'm sold on Uni. Okay, here, this is called Nectech and this is the least expensive at $9.99, and this is the one that I would recommend for most people. It, it actually performed, it, it, feel of it just, it had a little bit of a rubber, nice, that sort of some nice powdery rubber cable. The box itself is just basic plastic. Uh, didn't feel like anything special for $10. I wouldn't expect that. But when I ran the test, it was consistently coming in at fastest. I mean, it was pulling in 141. I think I forgot to get a green side. I think there was one where it came in at 149 megabits a second, 121. It was just consistently coming in the fastest, and it's the least expensive in the list. So I thought that was pretty interesting. Um, you... Uh, if you're on a budget, I would absolutely recommend this. I uh, know myself. Uh, I did read some of the reviews. They, uh, and the other thing about this neck tech, there's no lights that light up uh, that tell you whether you're connected or not. You may like that. I read a review. Someone said like they like that when they're in the dark. Um, I don't really care either way. It, I, I think the lights just make it seem a little more, I don't want to say official, but... Uh, for me, I beat my tech up, uh, especially what I'm going to be using this for in my living room. I think, uh, from what I've read, this doesn't really have the longevity. Um, and, and it's true, like, it doesn't feel quite as solid to me as, like, these unis being aluminum. 
So um, even though it is the fastest and least expensive, I think I'm going to pay a little more for the strength, the, the durability in the unis. So there you have it. Uh, I reviewed all eight of these and hopefully that helps somebody out there who's looking uh, to buy USB-C to Ethernet adapter. Uh, good luck.